Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We got Rich in the building from Baggers MBS. We got his 2023 Rogue Glide CVO in the back, and then we got my 2021 Rogue Glide Special right here in the back. Obviously, today we're going to be talking about which bike are you picking. I mean, we're we're, we're going to put price aside for a minute, right, and just talk about the aesthetics of both bikes. Him being an owner of both models, um, me being an owner of this model and having plenty, plenty of seat time on his bike, LD's bike, um, had a lot of seat time on the Harley Davidson trip that we had back in Milwaukee in July for the 125th anniversary. Um, so I had a lot of fun on that bike back then. Um, so I could I could tell you what I like and what I don't like about that new bike. But I thought it, it might be a little nice discussion for you guys out there to know, especially now with I mean, we're at the end of November. We're like a month and a half away from the Harley releases for 2024. We don't know yet what's to be coming out. We don't know if this is gonna be the, the new Rogue Glide look for all of them or not. Um, but we're gonna just talk about which one are you picking and we're not gonna talk about price. Because I think price just kinda, you know, right now you can't really compare it because it's a CVO and it's a special. Right. But, you know, <clears throat> let's just say if, if we had two specials, this special and this model, special and that model, which are you picking and which are you not? But before we get there, because your your other CVO is what uh, what year? Twenty one. Twenty one. All right, same year as mine. Um, and then you just recently got this a few weeks back. Um, first, let's talk about anything different that you feel on this bike since you got it on the new CVO compared to my. No, just like, for example, like you picked up the bike, you felt a certain way, you rode it. Now that you've been riding it for these few weeks, any, has anything changed? Is there anything that you like better or you don't like as much or um, whatnot? I hate the seat. I like the way it looks. I don't like the seating position. The, 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 the seat is not good. I, I, no, it's, I don't know what it is. Um, I, 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 it's pretty firm, actually. It's, it's a little... Yeah, I don't know if that's it, though. I, I, no matter which way I try and adjust on it, I just can't get... Comfortable Maybe it's just the, the whole design of it? Or? Yeah, it could be the whole design. Listen, I'd say it was my ass, but I've been... <laughs> my ass is big and I've just been in plenty of those seats. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> but, so it's not, it's not, it's not me. But, uh, and, and I've heard this before, but I definitely... I was like, ah, how bad can the seat I'm be? I'm not a fan of the seat. That, that's why... I, I, Case what, in point. What, what, when I did the video, I'm like, I, you know, there's so much things I like, I like about the bike. What's the number one thing I don't like? The seat. Yeah. It's horrible. That is by far the thing that bro it's a killer like it's a short ride from my house to your house yeah I mean I was like the seat sucks yeah it does it's, it's <laughs> while I'm riding I'm like, like for, for me it's, it's just pretty really really firm yeah and it's just like I guess just the design of it just I don't know appearance wise it looks great it, it's a good looking seat right it's a really good looking yeah, seat like, I like I, it I was like oh wow that looks good I'm like mm -hmm. I remember what my old CVO had and I liked it but I wasn't crazy about it but it was way more comfortable than that and it was the, like, the yeah, stock one? Yeah, the stock one. Yeah. I would have definitely, like, if I had no choice, like, currently there's no choices for that bike. Mm -hmm. So, I have no choice. But mine, I was like, okay, this isn't bad. I could I could work with this mm -hmm. if I have to stay with it. Now, that being said, there was a million other choices. So, yeah. I immediately started searching. But with that, there's no choices. There's bars. There's all sorts of stuff that's starting to come out. Yeah. No seats. Okay. So that what that's like your your gripe with it so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, that is like one of my biggest gripes because if you're not comfortable, you ain't going far. Yeah, and, that, and that goes with shoes, seats. Yeah, anything. just certain things like that. Certain things that you can't compromise on. Yeah. Any anything else that that has changed that you're liking or not liking on the bike? Uh, no. I, you know what? Every time I ride it, I like it more and more. What is that? I like it more and more. I just, I just. It's so smooth and so powerful. It is smooth. And it's, it's, smooth it's so... Guys, I can't tell you... This is why, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll hear me say, I don't care what anybody says, that's not just a bike that they stuffed with a 121 and a bunch of electronics. Mm -hmm. No way. Something else had to be done. I don't know. Maybe they're just not divulging secrets. Um, you know, but I... It, it it's, gets better. As crappy as the seat is, I still... Enjoy riding. I mean, the, the suspension is so yeah much better. Yeah, it was. It, it was definitely compared to this bike. Hundred percent. There was definitely yeah. a lot of thought put into that. I, I, suspension wise is great, and I told you, I had a good 
Yeah. I wish I had the cameras going here on the way here because I had a good, good hole or whatever it was, and she took it. No issues. Thank God those carbon wheels are still on. Yeah, and those carbon wheels didn't go <laughs> nothing cracked, and it's cold out. So yeah. Um, all right, so let, let's start diving into everything. Um, aesthetic wise. Which bike do you think looks better? You being an owner of both of them, old model or new model? I love I love the way the new model looks. I, I think it looks fantastic. I love the double headlight look though too. Oh yeah. I've like I couldn't wait to get Baja headlights. I couldn't wait to get when I, let's go back to stock when I had. But he even even honestly he, even the stock headlight yeah. with, with, with the two headlights in the front looks awesome. Absolutely. And, and it just I, screams out roll light. Yeah. And I, I, bro, I have a confession to make. I, when, before I ever got a Harley, I was like, I'll never ride a road glide. They're hideous. Shark fin. Shark fin. I'm like, oh, what was it? Uh, the shark nose. Oh, I was like, that thing's terrible looking. Yeah. Now I have three with shark noses. <laughs> Two Harleys and one Indian. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's the, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I cannot tell you how I, but I love the way it looks. But honestly, that double headlight grew on me, and I love it. And yeah. that's another reason why it's going to pain me to see my 21 go when it's time. Yeah. Wait, so are you saying that you like the design aspect of this bike better than the new I, one? I can't, I don't know if I say, I can't say better. I'll be honest with you. Design-wise, I'm going with this bike. Yeah. And I'm not saying it because, hey, this is my bike. And whatever. No, like, I, I really love the new bike. Yeah. Design wise, this just has something about it. Right. It's just, I don't know, it's just something. Screams Harley. Screams Harley, it's just so. Now you can say it's just, it's, the design has been around for so long, and it's just, it's something about it. And, it, and it's like, and it's funny, like you said, like you used to think that design, that fairing was ugly, and out of nowhere, you're like, wait a minute. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, it. Me back in the day, like I, I always said, I would never get a bagger, never. Like, and then I was like, no, like, you kidding me? Yeah. No, and it's, I would go with this one just because. I mean, and it's not safe to, it's not fair to say that. Well, there's so much more you could do with this bike because obviously parts are not out as much with this. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, there is so much more you could do with this one due to the fact of the lighting fixture. The way that light fixtures on that bike yeah. and this one, yeah. there's so much more you could do with this bike. Absolutely. That one, the turn signals are integrated into that whole big headlight. Very limited. So it's gonna you're gonna be very limited to what you can do, and it doesn't look very awkward if in case you want to take that off. Um, the bags, I prefer the regular standard bags on this bike rather than the new puffy bags on the new bike. Nice bags. I think that they're they're redesigned. They look nice. I prefer these. Though. Really. I, yeah, 10 times. I like the look of those other ones. Better? Yeah. You like the new look on the new bags and the old yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I prefer the old short bags. Because the stretch bags, I just I hate now. That's why I got rid of my stretch bags. But I prefer the regular standard Harley Davidson bags, man. You got my wheels turning, man. My gears are turning right now. Why? I'm just picturing who's going to come, who's going to be the first to come out with a dual headlight front fender for that. That you can stuff those electronics into. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while, but like oh. I said, look, that, that turn signal, the, the way the light is designed into the fairing, it's going to be weird. It's, it's, it, it could be a way, though, because you could still put two S1s in the corner. Or, you know, and, and put some type of... What if they redesigned that front headlight with two cutouts in it, integrated into that, behind that plastic window? Yeah, what, what do you mean, like Harley? Yeah, kind of like uh, doing that. <laughs> no, 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 like uh, <clears throat> just no, no, no. It's not gonna be Harley. No, no, definitely not Harley. I mean, somebody out in the aftermarket. Like an world. aftermarket. Yeah, world. yeah. Making something of a cutout, almost like uh, like Hogworks or somebody like that decides to come out with something. I'm just yeah, using them like as the bearing or the light. The light uh, and the light. Something where inside of the light. I mean, look, you got people who take all these trucks apart or these yeah. custom vehicles and do stuff. To change up the look of the light yeah. inside, right? They separate I mean, the housing from the glass. Uh, I mean, the, the, it's a phenomenal light. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's, it, bro, you it, don't need it, anything. At, at nighttime, it's you don't lack any. It's vision. awesome. <laughs> no visibility. It, it spreads out. But I mean, we're just talking in terms of switches. The main person, like both of us. Yeah. Well, we're the type of guys that will switch everything on a bike. You know, like 
some people just they, they won't touch too many aesthetic things like that yeah. they'll put pipes and four boards and grips and like yeah like i'm done yeah like, no i gotta go way beyond that yeah, you know yeah. like that's not Absolutely. enough for me i need my own touch to it Absolutely. but just going back to the design i like this very much better to me it's just a classic look it just screams out harley davidson i like the bags on here better um I mean, overall, I can't listen. I can't say I like that nose better than this nose, but I definitely like it a lot. And you know, I'm just listen. I'm opening. I'm I'm very open to new stuff. That's yeah. all I'm saying. No, I, I, but I like. So that. am I because I love the new design. When I look at my road glide, I'm just like, oh, bro, it just looks mean. Like the, that, and I'm not talking about just my no, yours. Any road glide like with these Bajas, yeah. that type of setup. I look at them like, bro, that shit just looks so tough, bro. No, it does. It looks awesome. Like, and, it, and it has that that. It has a modern appeal to it, right? With still that old school double headlight look. You have no idea how many people when that when though when that design first leaked, how many people were hating on the design? And I'm like, dude, like that bike looks awesome. They're like, well, what are you on crack? <laughs> or what, what are you crazy? <laughs> huh? I'm like, dude, the bike looks awesome. Like it looks great. Yeah. No, it looks hideous. Same people now that are like, oh yeah, the bike. Right. right, that bike looks great, yeah, man. The angles were all. That bike looks awesome. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Right. I didn't want to pass judgment because you know what? I did that with, and I, and I said this in the last video where that we did together. I, I did that with the Indian. I was like, ah, I don't like it. Ah, I don't like. What are they trying to do? You know? Yeah. And I was crazy about the fairing, and I, you know, and I, I was like, ah, I don't like it. You know what? Yeah. Look, now I got one. Yeah. So, but I didn't want to do that with that one. So that's why I was like, let me wait and see, bro. Because, you know what? Just like I said, when this one. That was around forever. I was like, I'll never ride one. I'll go with a streak line. Yeah. Uh, guess what? So yeah. here we are. Um, I mean, for, and all right. So obviously, well, I'm staying with this one aesthetic wise. Looks wise, I'm staying with this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. You're gonna go with the other one. You're gonna go with the blue. No. The I, you know what? I like. <sighs> you can be honest, man. No, no, no I am being honest. I'm 100% being you're, honest. You're That's the okay. owner of both of them. I. Uh, no wrong I, I like these bags better. I like that front end but i like this front end better i think totally. you like this front end better yeah, yeah yeah and the bags of the new one better yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah if they could somehow fair. integrate that maybe make them a little smoother because i know they're edged off because it goes better with this look yeah, yeah which makes sense but if they were to to make those bags because i know you i remember you did a video where you put them on yeah i switched both bags on on both bikes yeah and yeah. I, I was like Right, it's like it's it. something different, but the yeah. thing is that the, the lines on that on the new bags yeah. flow so much better with this bike because of the way the whole tank is designed. Right, the <sighs> fairing lines, all the lines of that bike just go perfect with, with with that bag, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, aesthetic wise, I'm sticking with this one. Yeah, I, I gotta, you know what, I gotta stick with uh, the original. Road. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I, bro, there's nothing. Now, yeah, I'm gonna take it to this one though, because I, I bet you will. I bet you will agree on this one too. What? Which one? Go ahead. Performance wise, baby. Which one are you picking? Now, why don't you pick first? My bagger or or standard uh, stock versus stock? We're talking. We're talking stock versus stock. If I just to make it fair. I'm going with the new one. The new one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. All day. Yeah, all day. Dude, like all day, bro. It's it's so that engine is so smooth. It's the power delivery is there on every gear. It's you it, don't have to look down to see what gear you're in. You just nah, like, roll on the throttle and you. And it it's, it it rides so good. It amazing. rides so smooth. Amazing, amazing, so amazing. smooth. Amazing. amazing. I'm dying to get back on the Indian. Yeah. After I put some more miles, like I, I need to put some, like I gotta get up to over a thousand miles, and then I want to go out on the Indian, so that I can yeah. do some apples to apples comparisons yeah. in terms per of performance wise guys the new model has it down packed and i know yeah you know it's, it's a 121 we're kind of comparing it to like a 114 or or a 117 in your case with your other cvo that's what but, that should have been you know yeah that power delivery that smoothness that this has is what even the 114 in my opinion should have been like but that. it's also the vvt that kind of helps it give it that smooth right. Kind of, you know. Right, but I, I mean, again, this is technology that should have been, in my opinion, a long time implemented ago. a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like right now, people should be going like, "Bro, what are they coming out with after the 121?" You know, rather than like, "Hey, man, we just got to the 121." Yeah. Like, it just should have been yeah. there. That's again my opinion. I'm not an expert on anything. I always say that. Yeah. But you yeah. know. 
performance wise definitely the new model is gonna take it all the way um and i mean hey listen you 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 got a you got a stage two done on your bike i got a stage two we yeah. might be doing something bigger over the winter time on this bike as well <laughs> um so i mean if we're, we're comparing apples to oranges we, we could put that yeah to the test as well and see you know how, how that's gonna turn out that's that's another segment though um suspension wise comfort wise obviously it's by blind eyes the new bike is gonna take it yeah suspension on that bike is amazing like just stock suspension at that right it's and i, I hate it's hardly stock suspension and it's, it's great it's it's great on that bike is great adjustable in the back you know it feels great the inverter front end now you know the, the bike feels great in corners man it feels the way it it feels like a like what you it feels like a performance yeah bike. when you're supposed to get a when you get a bike like that and you're like oh touring and you know they advertise it as being able to take it up into the canyons and enjoy some nice touring going through the turns and stuff that's what it should feel like yeah that's yeah. what they should have felt like before but it feels great it it it, it goes where you want it to go wherever you wherever you want to point at it's gonna go it feels great um it's awesome and yeah. that's that's hardly stock suspension so imagine when you know these other companies start you know implementing their suspension they're gonna be switching on they're even better so Oof. um Oof. it's great it's great exciting times exciting it's, times. It, it is exciting times um i mean that's that's pretty much it we're, we're performance wise the new bike has it. aesthetic wise to me this bike has it suspension and comfort the new bike has it i mean comfort um comfort's gonna be based on the seat on the seat yeah and they screwed up with the seat but it's <clears> something that's uh because of the people out there that make seats like Lapera and Saddleman. When it comes to the seat, yes. Yes. But when it comes to the bar setup on this bike, mm. the new one, due to the fact that it's adjustable and now you don't have the beach bars, yeah. the new one has the it new, as well. Yeah. And, and, and that's one of the best things, one of my favorite things about the bike is that you got the stock bars <clears throat> and I think it's like a 23 degree angle you could, you could kind of adjust it to. So instead of having the beach bars like this, you now have a setup where you're like this. So you can either be up here, over here, or down here. And you can adjust it to, with the top clamp, loosen it up, and move it forward and backwards. Easily. And it's awesome, man. So, you know, for you shorter, taller riders, you're able to kind of get in that riding train where you kind of want to get to yep. without going aftermarket. Right. Right? And they look great. Yep. They feel great. They great. Feels great. You know? Like, you, you can get the bike and enjoy it the way it is when i got my 21 i had it i, I made them because i had had i had, had road glides previous prior to that one um i had them put on bars yeah like when i had it delivered from florida <laughs> it came with 14 inch factory 42s because i was like like i can't you know i didn't know which way i was going with it i'm like but i cannot have those beach bars yeah they were they were killer first time I rode a beach bar, I was like, who who in their right mind? Like, I, I can't see you being comfortable. <laughs> it's so, so bad. Uh, yeah, it was terrible. I don't it's know. so bad. I mean, it, especially like for guys who kind of ride the way we do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> nah, <laughs> trying, to, uh, trying to throw it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not going to work out. Very awkward. Very awkward. Um, honestly, I think we come to the end of the video where we're, gonna, where we're just going to have to pick. Honestly, if, if it was stock to stock, brand new bike, when I'm talking about CBO, let's just say if this bike in a few months from now is a regular special or standard. trickle down to the regular one. down to that, we're putting it next to this one. I mean, I'm taking the new one. Even though I said yeah. aesthetically, I like this one yeah. better. Yeah. But there's so much, I'm, I have such a optimistic mind and like I have a, a my brain's, always, you know how I am. Yeah. My brain's always going yeah. on, on what I could do with the bike that yeah. there's so much you could do with this bike to make it look different and and just stand out from the crowd, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm picking the new one. Yeah, if, if it comes down to that, yeah. I mean. Stock to yeah. stock. Stock to stock, yeah. Yeah. Picking the new one. Picking the new one? Yeah. My man. <laughs> That's it, man. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, it's, uh, I mean, bro, the facts are the facts. How we feel is, you know. How we feel is how we feel. That's it. And if you don't like it, Facts don't bad. care about your feelings, as they say, right? Facts. <laughs> That's gonna be it, guys. If you want to go ahead and visit Rich's, uh, YouTube channel, I'm gonna be looking at it down below, Baggers and BS. You could 
go ahead, like and comment and subscribe to this channel. Like and comment if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, which you should be. Go ahead and subscribe now. You can also follow me on my Instagram at MarvelKid87. We got some new stuff coming to the channel. We're going to be making some big minor changes, if that makes any sense, but good stuff. Um, this next month for December is going to be big. We're just changing a lot of things around. So tune in. A lot of videos coming, a lot of content, a lot of new stuff being changed around, and you're going to like it. So, that's it. Like always, let the portrait with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.